so we could have the awful situation where parents who are trying to do the very best for their children and trying to, uh, out of their love for them, to protect them from doing something that would be of lifelong damage, could actually be made criminals for doing so. And you've touched on this already, but could a conversion therapy ban criminalise parents? Yes, tragically it could. Uh, we already actually can see this in Australia, uh, Victoria of Australia, where a law has been put in place that means that uh, if a parent seeks to dissuade his or her much-loved son or daughter uh, not, to, uh, not to embark on surgery or hormone treatment that would uh, damage their body drastically for life and irreversibly, uh, that is already there being made, has been made a criminal offence. And uh, the same could happen here. Many campaigners have said that that is a model for the law they want to see here. Uh, and so we could have the awful situation where parents who are trying to do the very best for their children and trying to, uh, out of their love for them, to protect them from doing something that would be of lifelong damage, could actually be made criminals for doing so. Um, and then at a more sort of uh, simple level, but still terrible, uh, any parent who sought to, to teach their children, this is a Christian view of marriage. This is how you love your wife or husband. This is how... Uh, you can have a family life of your own in the future and how, uh, and how you should, as a Christian, seek to do good to everyone around you uh, by the way you control and manage your sex life, um, that too could become a criminal offence. In other words, it would become an offence to say it's good to be a Christian and this is what it means.